Amazing stuff right there. All right, we have actually a pretty nice fall day on the way tomorrow and then some changes on the way for Columbus State. Let's show you one of the reasons why. This is what is left of Delta and this made landfall as a category two hurricane in coastal Louisiana yesterday evening. And unfortunately, it did make landfall very close to where Laura made landfall about six weeks ago. So you had a very unfortunate situation where the storm was going over areas already devastated by a previous storm. Now, for our concerns, this actually may help out southern New England because the remnants of Delta may give us some much needed rain. How much are we behind? Well, I really appreciate the question. Here's the answer. So far this year for precipitation, we're almost 10 and a half inches below normal since the start of 2020. Now we will not make up all of that ground Monday and Tuesday, but maybe a little bit of a dent in that rainfall deficit would help. In the meantime, looking at Narragansett Town Beach, you can see some surfers out in the waves. Actually, some pretty big waves out there today. We had a gale warning in effect. Our North Kingstown camera shows it's a breezy evening. I do expect these breezes to subside a little bit tonight through tomorrow morning. They don't completely turn off, but not as strong as what we had this afternoon. Temperatures after being in the 70s earlier, now back into the 60s, 67 in Providence, 66 Smithfield, 67 Newport. West year at 67 and 65 on Block Island. Those winds still cranking around 25 miles an hour from the southwest at TF Green, 18 in Smithfield, 24 from Block Island, 37 a recent gust there in New Bedford, still pretty windy. Okay, there is what is left of Delta. Here's a cold front. Now this front is actually responsible for those gusty winds, kind of sucking in those winds into the front. Fortunately, this will not ruin any evening plans. These showers and storms likely fizzle out before they reach our area. So that's why I have a dry forecast for this evening. Temperatures falling through the 60s. So we cool off a little bit tonight into the 60s and upper 50s, but really not so bad for an evening in October. And then tomorrow, not as warm as what we had today, but not a bad day for outdoor activities. Nine o'clock in the morning, 56. Breezes out of the north at around 8 to 15. Noon time, 59. 63 at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Wouldn't be surprised if you see some of those high wispy clouds approaching by tomorrow afternoon. I'm now going to fast forward the clock to Sunday night because here's where things start to change. Here are the remnants of Delta. Here come some showers out ahead of that. So by Monday, these showers likely start to get going. Probably light at first in the morning. They'll probably pick up a bit Monday afternoon to Monday night. And then because the leftovers from Delta interact with the front and actually a couple of fronts moving through Monday night to Tuesday morning, some additional showers. A few of these could be heavy and it is possible some of those showers linger into Tuesday afternoon. So we'll kind of have to fine tune the timing and the rainfall amounts as we get closer to Monday and Tuesday. But obviously for Columbus Day, not a great situation for people that did have outdoor plans. But again, some of the morning may be salvageable. We'll see about that situation. In the meantime, though, you know, for the Patriots and Broncos game, I do think some showers are likely and I also do sports predictions. I'm a big Broncos fan. I think the Broncos have no chance, unfortunately. That's my forecast there. Of course, you can get more updates on our website at WPRI.com. Wow, ruffling some feathers. All right.